today we treat HIV infection like we treat diabetes or high blood pressure. We can control the infection and people can have a life expectancy which is almost normal. There's been so many progress in terms of uh, our knowledge of the virus, uh, the, 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 the mechanism of reputation of the virus in the body. As a result, we have developed treatment, we have developed a preventative measure uh, that can prevent patients from infection. AIDS is, I would say, a relic of history when we had this condition where people were extremely sick and it was like a kind of irreversible condition and people were dying. It was the end of a, a long cycle. We know that uh, uh, there is a, a significant proportion of people who are living with HIV who don't know that they are living with HIV. That means that they are continuing to transmit the virus to others. Some people form so-called broadly neutralizing antibodies that are able to target many different kinds of HIV. And uh, there are marvelous researchers throughout North America and Europe and certainly here in Canada and Quebec that are working on these types uh, these types of antibodies, trying to understand how we form them and trying to reverse engineer a vaccine that would induce these antibodies before our bodies even see HIV. We have to really work in order to improve early testing, early treatment and to maintain the patient on treatment, which is a treatment for life.